Good morning, beautiful people. How are you? I hope you're okay. Um, nice and early start this morning. Just chilling out. Looked at my schedule. Don't have to be there till nine, so I've got a little bit of time. So I'm going to get some editing done on the laptop and I'm going to get myself a coffee in a moment and chill out. Sun's just coming up, if you can tell in the background there. All is good in the hood. Welcome to the hood. This is, I've just loved, well, we call this the hood now. So, if you hear him refer me, refer this to the hood, you know why. But yeah, today's going to be a good day, got a few meetings and hopefully get to see a bit more about how sessions are done with some observations at Fitness Quest 10. Yep, going to be another long day and hopefully I can get some good footage for you guys without getting any members in or clients because we're not allowed. But all is good over here and I'm super pumped once again to go to Fitness Quest 10. Let's go. So look who greeted me right outside my door this morning. Hi. You alright? Were you my early morning wake up call? Yeah. Oh, thanks so much. Okay. Should we go get some breakfast? Shall we? I think so. Yeah. Come on then. Come on, let's go. Breakfast time. I think someone wants some. Not gonna happen. Sorry, guys. is when people are talking at you instead of talking with you. So that's where I think the biggest issues come in. Um, Gary Vaynerchuk is a great marketing resource and one of the things he said when I... Charleston and did some functional movement screening work which was great to see. Uh, definitely gonna have to get some practice on that and try and implement that when I get back. Managed to post a question to the man TD. Uh, thank you very much for replying. It was good. Uh, just two minutes of his time and it actually changes your perspective and sets you in a new direction. I'm not gonna share what the question was because you guys don't need to know that. But now we're heading down to the field where we played football the other day, or soccer as these guys like to call it. And we've got a little TD boot camp football going on. Todd's not joining us unfortunately, he's got other plans. But all the interns and a couple of the coaches, trainers, they're coming to join us. So things might get a little heated, but can't wait. It's going to be another hour of fun, hour of sweating and an hour of absolute chaos, I think. But it's time to have some fun. Let's go. So football ended badly. Kind of my fault. <laughs> Aaron was chasing me and I managed to pass it off. But as I passed it off, he and Ryan collided and he's now got an inch long cut on his eyebrow. So it doesn't look very good, but he'll be all right. He's a big guy. So now that we've finished football, we're just heading back. I think we're on lunch now. And pretty beat. It was fun. First time playing Todd Durkin. No, I played real, real American football, don't worry. I'm not a, a virgin to that. But time to get some lunch. Hungry. I think I should get me one of them. Got me some chicken teriyaki, some veg and some rice. Just as I'm sitting here, nice and quiet on my own, I wanted to just share some wisdom with you guys and ask the question of how are you staying productive with your days? So are you making the best use of your time? Or 
have you noticed that you're wasting time? If you haven't noticed that, you may notice it now. And you gotta try and make sure that you are using your time effectively. So try and list out maybe five things that you wanna get done in one week and how you're gonna get them done. And yeah, right, just write it down. So five things you wanna accomplish in a week and maybe one thing a day and try and put yourself on a path where you can get things done and see if it makes a difference to your day, or your week, or possibly even the rest of the year. Thank you, FedEx Truck. So, five things how you can change your week, one thing a day, and see if you can try and get increase your productivity and make a change. Are you gonna come and join me? Oh, you're making a phone. No, I'm, on, I'm making a video, but you can join. Where is everyone else? Um, I think Ali and Katie are working out. Cool. Katie are working out. Alright. So yeah, <laughs> five things, one a day. You try and increase your productivity over a week. Give it a go and see how you get on. Let me know. Post underneath. So guys, we have skipped forward just a little bit and I'm back at the house. I've had some sushi that I bought from Vons, the supermarket. It's just sushi, isn't it? Good food anyway, brown rice, California roll, love it. Got home, put some washing in, and I'm just on my laptop. There you go, proof. And I'm about to do some Skyping with Lauren. So this is gonna be good. Haven't Skyped in a while and I can't wait to give all the juicy gossip of what's been going on. So I'll chat to you guys in a little while, and peace out. So that me and Lauren are having a quick FaceTime, and we've caught up on what's going on with events, and she's just there on the phone. So, yeah, everything's all good, and get to see Lauren in 20, is it 21 days? I get to see you. Yeah. 20, yeah, 21. 21 day, 21 days she'll be in San Diego and she'll be on the actual camera rather than on my phone. And I can't wait. So yeah. But we gotta go, we got we got stuff to talk about. Time to get down to some work and then in an hour, less than an hour. 52 minutes, time to get down to some studying. The man TD, got a video of his, back on the dynamic warm to finish that off, and then I can move on to explosive training, I think it is. Anyway, learning, productive, two hours sleep, and then up for another day tomorrow. But for tonight, peace out, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you guys are all okay. Stay safe, don't hurt anyone and spread the love. Peace out. Good night.